Hi guys, welcome to another Banter Blitz on Chess24. Uh, let's just show the uh, discount code King's Crusher is a voucher code for a whopping 15% off. So go premium and get the 15% off. It's approaching Christmas. Celebrate. Have a good time. You get a load of perks for premium membership. Okay. And remember to use King's Crusher, plural. So we'll go to the challenges now. So you can come and challenge any streamer. You can just put your challenge in uh, 15 minutes beforehand and um, then picked up on the challenges. Okay, uh, Bob Inson, Bob Inson. I hope audio and visual is okay. Uh, let me know. It should be okay, shouldn't it? Uh, let's try C4 to start off with. I'm just going to check myself on the previous screen, hopefully soon. This is a bit of a topical line, actually, this, this variation. Okay, no, there's, a, there's a little bit more passive than I, I thought should be played. Um, uh, I think usually there's something else played, actually, usually. Uh, knight takes d5 is is intriguing. Uh, this this is a very intriguing continuation. I wonder if I can risk taking. I seem to be going into an unwelcome gambit territory though, which I don't particularly like. First thing, say so takes takes queen d5, queen b6. It's an unwelcome um, gambit, isn't it? I don't want to have a gambit. I have to face up to a gambit. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe like a three for a moment. Uh, just prompting C D Queen E four, Bishop C five, Queen D five, Queen B six. I have to work out what to do about Queen B six. I don't like this particularly. If it's got a gambit idea behind it. I'd like to be more in control of the position. Uh, rather than chaos. Okay, that's a bit of relief. Okay. I think I can get to castle at least in this game. I don't want to face the wrath of huge peace activity. Even if I'm a pawn up. The pawn up is sometimes of little consolation. Uh, so I want to be able to just castle. Okay. I'm the one doing the gambits. Let me be the one doing the gambits. So if C takes, knight takes, knight e5, king's still in the center. Um, here again, it's a bit gambity again. I wonder, I would take with a knight, knight e5, what compensation I would have. I mean, I could work it out later. I'm inspired by alpha zero. I'll work out later the compensation. Or not? Or is it too open the position there? Is it really appropriate to lose e5? I just a bit loath to give up my dark square bishop here. Cd bishop d4. I'm a bit loath to do that. Oh, I'm taking that way. That's interesting. Okay. Well, not such a problem then. Now I think I can just play f4, f5, getting a good grip on the position. But there's a blockade on bishop f5. Oh, there's bishop b5 here, winning the queen. Kingston in the center. Okay, thanks for the game, Bobinson. Yeah, King in the center is a bit dangerous. Um, Fuchs Rudel. Okay. Fuchs Rudel. Apple Strudel comes to mind. Okay. For some reason. Uh, let's see. That's Fianchetto. Hmm. Bishop G two, or is there anything better? Queen C two. Hmm. Maybe Queen C two. Just avoid any structural issue. Being able to recapture on C three. Maybe Knight D five is interesting. Actually, there is a fishing pole game. Recently, I saw. Can I can I do a fishing pole? Um, 
There was an Alpha Zero Stockfish game I went over, which I think was this variation. Something like there was a knight on G5 with H4, sort of fishing pole. Alpha Zero went fishing with Stockfish. Um, can I get in a, a hack attack over here? E4, um, after Bishop F5, I'm not totally sure I should be worried about D4 necessarily. I mean, the tempo gain is interesting. Opening up the H file is quite an upside, isn't it? Opening up this H file, mind you, that F file. Let's see. I don't need to open up the Rook at the moment. Um... Oh, here I'm winning a piece with b4, aren't I? And this is bishop a4. Hold on, there's bishop a4. Uh, I could be in trouble. Hang on, queen c4, knight b3, queen. Okay, um, rook b1, knight c1, rook c1, both bishops skewered. Uh, so queen c4, bishop b3, queen b4, knight b3. Now I think Queen C4, I hope Queen C4, I mean I could calculate, oh, there's B5, hold on, there's B5. Let's calculate this then. B5, Queen B4, there's Knight D3 check, so Queen C4, B5. I'm going to do two pieces sacked for the Queen. Okay, he has to find B5, would he? Might do. And it's queen e2, I could be in trouble. Oh dear. Queen e2, knight b3, a b. I've got this h file attack, maybe two pieces for the queen as a queen sack. How would that work out? Oh, I didn't go for it. So here it's more simple case of queen takes and queen takes a4. Isn't it? Yeah, b5 was was uh, was dangerous. Uh let's not talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't as if it was nearly disastrous for white after b5 <laughs> no of course not <laughs> oh golden bennett oh golden bennett oh <laughs> these forcing moves have no right in the position it's uh, chess is not a game of calculation there's no right for them to be in the position I want to get back to my 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 principled play. Ah, oh, give me a break with these forcing moves. <laughs> Crikey! Just because the king's in the center, this happens. This madness happens. The king's in the center a bit too long. We're gonna to have to engine check that position. Maybe maybe queen e two. Maybe the knight gets trapped. Maybe not. Though it looks pretty good for black we have to end and check that <laughs> we, we, we have to check it uh, the engine will say I think black's pieces look pretty menacing if I have to play Queen E2 uh, that's definitely one for checking. Hmm. Oh, I, like I, I, want, I want to castle. It's nice to castle. Unless backfires. Forget about the sage file. I don't want to activate the rook. Take d5. I think d4 trying to blast open this diagonal. The dark squares look vulnerable. Uh, 
I get a pass pawn d6 that was crushing, hitting the rook and queen. Wins the rock. All right, let's have a quick look. I think there was a golden opportunity here. Somehow, I, I really badly, I feel I slipped up badly. King in the center is asking for trouble, huh? It's saying white is much better after queen b1. Well, that's a curiosity, isn't it? Because then maybe the fork works. B4, does it work? It doesn't matter about the knight being trapped, right? But I think what I played was a disaster. When I played queen c4, crikey, it doesn't seem to think so. B5, equal? I was thinking about queen e2. It reckons that's equal here. There's knight d3 check, fork king, king and queen. I was thinking about queen e2. So knight b3, oh, I see, hold on, I don't take here, this is just, this is just silly, even that is equal, I just play rook, maybe rook b1 slightly better, it seems. So okay, may, maybe it's, it's not the end of the world, guys, maybe it wasn't the end of the world, for white. Okay. Thanks, folks. All right, a three minute fast and furious three minute gamer. It's not with increment, is it? Is it? Crikey, that's a bit casual, isn't that? Out speed. For a three minute game. Is this incremental and I didn't I didn't notice? <laughs> Just wondering now. Clock does seem to be going down to the two minute level soon. This is getting a bit critical, isn't it, on the time factor? I'll try and keep my moves fast and furious. <sighs> Seems more like the pace of a five minute game. Keep the get the center closed. I'll keep E and I on E five, I think. Uh, maybe we have to. I think knight H five is, is tempting. Right, can I get the queens off? I think I've got an edge here for this space over here. Maybe bishop e3 and a5, or a5 first. Uh, bishop a3, because there's knight b5 to factor in. a5, there's still knight b5, but maybe a b is okay. All right. Mm. 
Can I play for B4 amongst the eight? Right under mining here. Isn't there like rook c6? What's this? What's this when it's at home? I don't get it. <clears throat> Folk. Folk and win. Pin and win. Folk and win. Set up a mating that. Knight f3 is that mating? King h4, rook h7. There's no stalemate there on knight takes, is there? It's king h4, king h6. King h7. Let's make sure there's no stalemate. Alright, thanks for the game. Fast and furious. Okay. Um. <clears throat> okay, uh, user twelve thirty four, one two three four. It was in a rush. My registering. <laughs> he or she was in a rush. My registering. Uh, Okay. Is F four F five any good? I mean, it looks like a standard template plan. F four F five. Bit of a standard template plan. I just love these positions though from this because I've also increased my pawns in the center. I've got the G file. I've got things like F5. In terms of forcing moves, I've got F5, Knight F4. That wins a bishop. Straight off the bat. Appears to anyway. Okay. I have B for him, Bishop B two, I think next. Knight F four, Knight H five. Looks good. What me worry, as Alfred E. Newman says in Mad Magazine. Okay, Knight F four, H five. Uh Queen B six, King H two. Okay, there is a knight g4. Now I can just take that. All right, is there um, knight h5? What is that queen e3? The invasive queen e3. What would I do about that pest of a move? Oh, okay. Bit of hassle. What about, okay, knight h5 here? Knight h5 here? I see uh, knight takes queen takes okay I can't see any key checks the only key check I, I see is um, knight g4 check coming in potentially if I keep my eye on g4 for a moment so queen e2 keeps an eye on g4 then something like bishop c1 f queen h4 rook f4 bishop c1 This knight's loose, don't like loose pieces. They're good excuses for cleverness for the opponent if there's loose pieces in the position. Let's take the bishop off. And bring the other rook to g1, I think. Try and sort out this loose piece urgently as well. Just in theory. It's a liability.
the difference between a theoretical liability and a practical one is is much closer than one thinks usually because of the resourcefulness available on the chessboard so uh, sorting it out I think I can take here there's no knight g4 just yet queen g4 knight g4 queen g4 Let's see if I am um, oh that is a nice move can I get the Queens off with Queen d2 though try and get the Queens off So I'm ruling out like a four. I'll take it here. I can insert this greedy move. Knights can go to G4 maybe or here for knight d6 check that looks like a family fork knight d6 check nice family little fork knight d6 <clears throat> okay thanks User one, two, three, four. Oh, hang on, hang on. No, no, so sorry, sorry. No, 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 no increment challenges, please. No increment challenges. Sorry, sorry. There's a big queue here. Keep, please keep the challenges non increment. Don Williams. Sorry about that. Non increment challenges only. If for the sake of the queue, I'm, I'm thinking of the sake of the queue just to try and get to as many people as possible. But I'll prioritize that challenge if if it wants to rechallenge I'll prioritize it. Okay. I'm gonna get the dance my bishop. All night you for her. This is a liability on E seven. But I'm thinking H five knight f four is one of my favourite types of possession. Fishing pole. And knight f four rook h six is one of my favourite types of position. I think this is far too dangerous to take, but it's also dangerous this position for rook h6, rook g6. And then there'll be things like knight g2, king takes knight e3 check. If I rook on g6 here, so I don't have to wait for a line to open up for the rook necessarily. There's queen h4 here. That looks dangerous. Is that bishop g4 though? If I took and then bishop h3, g takes queen h4, bishop f1, queen f2, king h1, it looks dangerous 
taking on h2 but hold on is that better So let's try and calculate this all the way. Knight takes, king takes, queen h4, or bishop h3. Try to start with bishop h3, g takes, queen h4, bishop f1, queen f2, king h1, rook h6. I don't know, let's see what's going on there. But knight takes, takes, okay. I'll, I'll start with this anyway. So queen h4, maybe just g5 plan. It's always G3. What about G5 straight away? G5 straight away. Just use the pawns first for G4. G4. Use the pawns first. G4. Looks logical. Is it enough to win a pawn if the things everything's closed? Is everything closed after? Or is there takes an h4? Any queen h4 is g3 here. Queen g5 might be more interesting. Queen g5. On rook g3 there's h4. Now here, what if I bring this rook around the g file to g8? So say I play bishop d7, rook a8, king e7, rook, g, rook here. That way of doing things, just get the rook involved. Can I do that? Although I'm thinking that's probably tactical solutions, but um, key seven rook eight eight to g eight. Well, he's giving up a pawn for a moment. Try and open up again. That pawn's immune, surely. So King E7, Rook A8 plan. Is King E7 possible here? I hope it is. Right. I'm going to take with the rook. So, what's this? Am I not just winning the queen? All right, thanks for the game, Don. Yeah, it was a bit dangerous. Um, Friedel. Hi there. Okay. Looks as I'm going to grab dark squares soon, if F4. Grab some dark squares. That's probably the way to play it. F5, G5, try and get the dark squares. So G5 and F4, and then try and get that E5 square. It looks like a positional treatment. So G5. And um, 
got to wa- I got to watch out for sax on f5 though later at the moment that doesn't seem a major issue in fact knight e3 is almost tempting knight g4 bishop g1 this knight c4 is almost well, c6 d5 just to blunt this bishop well I'm weakening e5 a bit if I blunt that bishop there's less to worry about surely I can go to f6 just worried about rook f5 a bit there's knight d6 to e4 maybe here I don't like my pieces not being totally connected at the moment there's this diagonal as well c3 and bishop b1 okay I can get a knight with tempo though for a moment okay it's been pins on pin would he take yes it's e4 weakness a nice blockade okay it's trouble this game now it's officially not that pleasant I see if I'm trying to weaken the dark squares a bit although knight f5 is possible how about bishop g4 here well, there's also knight g4 to think about Okay, there might be trouble here. Yeah. Oh dear. Uh oh. <clears throat> okay. That's pen anyway. It's a rook against two pieces is not entirely nice. H five and bishop e five coming up. Oh, hang on, hang on. That's a bit dodgy. There's a pawn only a few steps away. Surely that's a little bit dodgy thing to do. If I've got rook a1 on the cards, okay. Take that one out of trouble. Oh, there's bishop c3, bishop d4 if he's not careful now. Let's pin. If I take on a3, I've got my pass pawn. And get another pawn. I don't want to lose the dance square bishop. Mind you, there's a bishop d4 tactic there. Maybe rook a1 here. I don't want to be mated with all these... Uh, He says, um, okay, I'll pin this guy. I got my past pawn. Is that enough? If I take here to stop knight b5. Okay, a2, rook g1 is quick. So rook g1. <clears throat> right, thanks for the game, Friedel. Thanks. Yeah, that was getting scary. Okay, Cobra. is a bit unusual isn't it taking me to unusual territory 
It's a bit unfair, isn't it? I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'll try this. It looks a little bit like it's a Sicilian where white's taken on C6. A little bit reminiscent of something. Uh, pin Sicilian pin variation with knight C6. Uh, all right, I think it's okay. I think there's queen a5. Hmm. Queen a5 is possible here, isn't it? If he took, there's always bishop c3 and then there's queen a1. I'm first with a check there. I might actually fret thing knight e4, queen e4, bishop c3, protects e5, b takes, queen c3, pick up the rook, still protecting e5. So I think knight e4 is, is on the cards here. Knight takes e4. Let's have a look at this again. Okay, I think it was on the cards. Is there d5 here? E d c d knight d5. There's bishop d2. There's no knight d5. If he castles, there's bishop g4. It might be worth playing this. Uh, but there's always bishop b5 check. So maybe uh, okay, that's not threatening anything. Do I play bishop g4 now or castle? Maybe just castle for a moment. d4 there's knight b1 bishop g4 or d takes d takes knight takes bishop takes knight takes okay bishop g4 does that change anything bishop g4 seems like a move i don't know oh have i missed okay d4 now knight b1 bishop d2 doesn't do anything Knight b1 seems sufficient after d4. Bishop g4, I'm not sure I've created a tactical vulnerability here. So d takes, knight takes, <coughs> bishop takes, knight takes, and there's queen takes. No, there isn't. <coughs> okay, I'll, I imagine this is, I'm going to be optimistic with this one, as if it's okay. Hang on, I think there's a point here that I'm leaving a pen tonight. I think that's a good news point that after the knight takes, bishop takes, the knight's pinned. Mm -hmm. Well, the rook's been left behind. Hang on. What about this? This one looks to the point. If he castles rook d2. If he plays rook d1, this bishop takes d1. h3. h3. Bishop f3. g takes rook d2. King d2. Rook d8. No, I don't think that's rook d3 here doesn't do anything. Knight h5 doesn't do anything. Rook takes d2 though might be interesting. King takes rook d8. Rook takes d2 is interesting. King takes rook d8. King c1. Bishop takes c3. Okay, let's try this. It looks as though it's, it's got something going for it. I 
if I play just bishop takes here just to relieve the pin. Can I not just play rook takes c2 with pressure on c3? Rook takes c2 looks adequate. I don't think e3 does anything. Rook d3 might be interesting. There's queen c3 or king e2. I think rook takes c2 looks fairly okay. G5 rook takes c3. Hmm, there's always no, there isn't queen e5. I'm protecting e5. So yeah, rook c3. Does forking queen and bishop on castling, forks queen and bishop. So there's no queen e4. Okay, rook c3. There's no queen e5. I just take that. Queen h4, h6, rook c1, there's um, h6 is sufficient there to avoid any form pawn. There's queen c5 and e3 probably. So queen c5, pins and e3. Well, there's rook d7 or knight g4. This check might be a nuisance. How about rook d3 for a moment? And then knight g4, f2 looks under fire. Knight g4 protects e5 as well. All right, I can hit the queen. I think knight f2 coming in. Hmm. Rook f2, rook d2. Looks crushing with that pin. There's no check. Does look crushing, is it? I think it might be. Okay, uh. I think I just take on f1 and rook d1 to stop the queen. Doing anything. Alright, cool. That's pretty dangerous sometimes underestimating um, the. Uh... Okay, misfortune. Okay. Um. Start the ten second count. One elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants, ten elephants. Okay, all the time. Ah, uh, chestnut. Nice guitar, guitar player. Uh, looks like a pro guitar player. Always holding it. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, might have to do the count here. Um, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, 
five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants, ten elephants. Okay, I'm afraid. You have to swiftly move on. Okay, Mohammed. Well, we're getting a few, few <laughs> getting through the challenges here. <laughs> yeah. mm. What is it they say about chess, uh, Peter? Nineteen sixty. Um, chess is like a huge game, and that's my. Uh, uh, I don't know. Elephants may bathe in chess anyway. So there was something about gnats. Uh, it's, okay, one elephant, two elephants. Three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, eight elephants, nine elephants, ten elephants. Okay, guys, come on. Oh, okay. We've got a game. Uh, right, okay. It looks suspect because there's an unprotected piece in the position. It, does, it looks that's why it looks a bit suspect. I might just go for g4 here and take a6 and then h5. It looks awkward the knight on h3 here. It looks awkward to me this position for white in this particular com uh, configuration. Okay. Mm. If I made Queen E seven, have I not got the threat of something after Queen E seven? Like Knight takes H G something like that it takes hg king takes knight f4 bishop f4 ef queen f4 knight takes here then hg looks good or knight f2 knight takes he has to take i'm hitting his queen maybe that's sufficient HG the knight's protecting H3. If I played knight takes F2 instead, there's a discovered check, isn't there? <clears throat> knight F2. Not totally sure. Maybe this is optimistic. On the other hand, I'm hitting the rook now. Queen takes. Well, there's knight f four here now. Now here, if I play bishop takes, king takes, let's take here for a moment, bishop takes, king takes, queen takes, queen takes, knight h3, oh he's protecting the bishop, the knight, hold on. OK. 
Okay, am I messing this up? What about Rook F6? Or Rook G6 and then F6? Rook G6 and then F6. He's always got Queen F five. Hold on, Queen F five. Oh, so maybe the hold on a sec. Queen F five is dangerous. I wonder if I'm worse now. I piece down. Well, I'm not sure about this. This doesn't look right, does it? Okay, I'm material down. I don't want to lose F7 in a hurry. This one. Rook against two knights, equal on pawns. Is queen takes possible? Right, the rook against two knights. I'll try this. Activate the rook. Mind you. Maybe that wasn't clever. Um, it might not have been clever. Hold on. Uh, that rook's not that active, is it? Oh, hold on. The way he's playing it, though, looks dangerous. Alright, he's got knight c6 coming up. Uh, still not good. Few checks, and that's about it. Where can I get the pawn? Oh, that's nice. Oh, this fork.
Yeah, it's over. played yeah okay can't win them all yeah okay very well played I'm gutted of course <laughs> a little bit So, uh, Queen B three hat. Um, So I'm hitting the queen. Maybe G4 here. And then F3 looks interesting. With maybe the idea of bishop F4 looks good because I've got a lot of pressure there. Oh, it's bishop D6. Okay, what about rook C1 then for knight B5? Um okay, and the other way to play it F bishop f four. I think I'm waiting for bishop d six, there's knight b five here. There's a bit of a trap. He's not gonna fall into for that, is he? Bishop d six, knight b five. Bit of a trap, but maybe position it's okay, bishop f four, regardless of the trap. This looks like a nice bishop, so when there's no bishop d six. Maybe there's knight b5 for knight c7. If I prompt the h pawn to move knight d7, no bishop g3. Okay, uh, can I just be flexible for the rook's doubling? Bishop f1. So uh, F4 or something else. Uh, it looks as I'm weakening myself a bit. Oh, hang on. No, that bishop's hanging. Hold on. What about E5 then? Is he weakening his king? Maybe there's a target on H6. No, there's Queen E6 here. Then maybe uh, F5. Uh, F5 here. Looks interesting. Oh, for a moment. Oh, okay. Has the center collapsing? Hmm. Bishop c4 is it maybe just work, work out this queen e7. Bishop c4 seems useful here. Um, okay, so I can tank and bishop e6 and then f5. 
try and hold on to my extra pawn. I'll try and hold on. Okay, that pawn still pay I have backfires. Oh, I missed E F. I think I missed the chance for E F. Yeah, okay. Moving too quickly. I had E F. I think I'm still holding on to the pawn. But I think I had E F and Bishop C seven. Yeah, I just moved too quickly. Come on. Slow down a bit. Two minute forty nine to a portion to all the moves. Two minute forty nine. Just try and spend a bit more time here. That was a miss, I think. King G two and E six. Okay, I have to protect E five then. King G two and E six still as the main plan. Just to protect the bishop and then e6 looks good. e6. So b3. Knight e4 looks good for knight e6. Yeah, knight e4 to d6 looks strong here. Okay, I'll, I'll take that one then. Check. I'll drop back to C3 here for F6 check. Mm. All right, thanks for the game. Okay, uh, the mechanic. Hi there. Okay, so I'm comfortable with this for the moment. D three and castle. <clears throat> Share tension in the position. Bishop e3, queen d2. Okay, knight takes looks plausible. It's symmetrical a little bit, isn't it? Um, so, bishop e3 here yeah. looks plausible. Queen e2 to keep the pieces protecting each other. But maybe the rooks as well, okay. That looks good for c7 now. Yeah. Also, there's some dangers on this diagonal, I think. Which way? If I keep a knight on d5, that looks sensible. For that c7, it looks a little bit sensible. Uh, ef, rook f5 looks like a danger. Bishop e4, g4. Looks like a danger for f5 here. Let's check this out. Yeah, I think that's a clear and imminent danger on F5 with this diagonal. Most constantly, I sometimes refer to this as a very dangerous diagonal, but this is also very dangerous. Rook F5, Bishop E4. 
It just looks so dangerous. I guess any G for this, this diagonal, a bit of a backfire. Well, I don't need to use G4 though. I can use Rook F1 to celebrate the pin. Rook F1. Now 97, I can take that and then Bishop F5. Okay. Uh, Queen F8, Rook F1 without using any pawns, without creating what it says. Maybe take it in G4. Okay, there's Bishop E5. Does it matter? I wouldn't have thought so. I mean, I could play Queen F2, I suppose, but maybe King G6. Still not playing G4. Okay. Get the queens off, or hold the pawn first. Maybe hold the pawn first. So queen f five here, and this is a tactic. Knight f three check. If I played that, then queen takes, but I can take the queen. So I'm threatening mates as well as the queen. So knight f three, I just take with the queen, not the bishop. Right. Ninety seven restricts the king actually for a moment. Also, I can simplify further with knight g six. As long as there's not too much counterplay to play with each simplification. All right. Thanks for the game, Kenig. Again, I don't know why I've been sent this increment challenge. Sorry, Olam. Uh, okay, Olaf. B five E five Can't just do this anyway. E five looks tempting. Um it just looks positionally tempting. Uh okay, so he protects the knight and then I just play knight G three. He takes and I play f5. It looks as though I've got some stuff going on. Uh, or here, okay, f5. So I like the knight on e4. There's also bishop g5 or uh, uh, bishop g5. That bishop is not happy, surely. Okay, so I can use this check and then put my bishop on this diagonal. Control that c5 square with bishop b4. Try and take over the c file. So I want to try and take that c file.
So E7's hanging. Why would he hang E7 here? Well, I want him to go and protect that because I want the C file really. Oh, there's also Knight C5 to bear in mind. So I think I'll let him protect that. I think I like to port the idea of a pawn on E6. If we're pawn on E6 around here, I'll just dominate the C file and double the rooks on the seventh rank. Okay, that's not going to happen, maybe. Okay. Okay, another invitation to take on e7. I think I'll take it up this time. Bishop e3, king g2. So we look at knight c5. Okay. Ah, uh, let's get out of the dark dark squares from this bishop because otherwise there's bishop e3 of rook f2. I want to play rook f2 to be able to have the option of taking with the rook here. Or the option of queen e6, in fact. Rook takes here is interesting. Rook c5, fg, threatening bishop f6, winning this as well. That looks too interesting to pass up, just intuitively. The idea of undermining the whole pawn chain at base, from base. And he's got e5 protected though, but bishop f6 looks strong anyway. Does he give up the queen? He might give up the queen, I suppose. If king eight, he gives up the queen. H4. Immediately with G5, I dare. I have G5. That looks dangerous. Bishop F4, G5. There's a bishop G6 for queen F7 on king E7. Yeah, now go in for g6 anyway. Okay, there's a check, but king f3, rook f8, queen g6, king h8, queen h7. Okay, so rook c2, king f3, rook f8, queen g6, queen h7 after. How does he defend g6 here? Time for bishop d5 here. I've got g6. If rook f8, bishop d5. If rook c7, check, and then queen f8. If he uses the other rook, I suppose. Then I have to think. Well, bishop d5 anyway, if he uses the other rook. Alright, thanks for the game, Olaf. Yeah, very interesting. Oh, he's taken pieces out of me uh, before, anyway, quite a bit. Uh, okay. Uh, till. Okay. Um, yeah, let's stick with sensible opening. Okay, 10 seconds, uh, one elephant, two elephants, three elephants, four elephants, five elephants, six elephants, seven elephants, 
eight elephants, nine elephants, ten elephants. Okay, sorry about this. I have to move on. George S. Just want a sensible opening position, a reasonable opening position to start off with. I take to just blunt the bishop, I mean, blunt the rook by its own pawn for a moment. So B4, what to do on B4, knight A4 looks as though knight D5 might be better. Yeah, I think knight D5 is probably more more to it than just the visual uh, being, being bad in a way. But uh, I, th I think there's more to it there. Knight takes, E takes. The knight moves, maybe say bishop D4. And that pawn is actually a useful binder on c6 and e6, so maybe just bishop d4 here. If I have a knight on d4, then I'm sort of clamping down on c6 even further. <laughs> now, I'm just thinking, takes, takes, uh, like c6, d6, queen b6, so I can always take that. It's, it's too slow to get onto this diagonal. Oh, maybe it's not. <laughs> uh, do I take the pawn first? I wonder. I think I'll take the pawn first. Take this guy, and then come back for d4. So I've undoubled the pawns. Queen b6, king h2. Okay, I'd rather keep my pawns connected here and, and avoid any knight b4. Rather than take and keep the brook blunted in a way by its own pawn. So get out of the pin, unpin that pawn, d5, go back to the bind on c6 or e6. So d5, maybe even get the queens off here. This looks like a nice bind position for c6. If I have a knight on c6, I'd be dragging a pawn, be a 3 to 1 pawn majority. Knight c6. Is that knight a nuisance? Knight d3. There's no rook f2. If I play rook f2 immediately, knight d3, rook d2. Rook f2 immediately or rook c1. I think rook f2 immediately to answer knight d3 or rook d2. Hold on a sec. So rook d2 and knight c6. Rook d2 here. I'm ready, I think, for knight c6. That will blunt the rook, so there's no rook c2. There is e6, though. Hold on, e6. Now I'm hitting the rook. e6, there's rook d6. Right. Is g4 and f5 needed? Okay, what about this one? So I've got rookie free if needed to hit b3. 
Knight C5, Rook C3. Right, Rook E3 keeps the Rooks tied down. So B3 is attacked. Well, I thought that keeps the Rooks tied down. Now there's Rook B7. Okay, rook c2 and rook c8. Well, there's d5. I can play bishop d5 here. So if he takes, takes. The, that's, that's good. If king f6, rook c2, because otherwise rook c2, there's d5. Let's have a look at this tactic again. Bishop d5, rook takes. Oh, I can always queen or just take. So the point is here. I can play rook c2 now. If e6, there's bishop c6 anyway there. So rook d5, I queen. Knight b6, I queen. Running bishop c6 check. All right, face the game, George. Okay, talk, Medita. Yeah, it's a bit of a template plan again. Maybe I had e5. Should have looked at e. Well, e5 looks very tempting, um, indeed. Okay, playing knight f4 here, I believe. Okay, it's a nasty pin for g5, in a way. If I unpin immediately with this, rather than letting any potential for g5. Okay, there isn't. There is knight d5 here. Takes takes knight f6. And the queen. Okay, that's possible. That's pinned. I can threaten knight f6 now with queen f3 to win the queen on b7. So knight f6 threatens to win the queen on b7. Alright, thanks for the game, Talk Mandita. Okay, we're getting a few, quite a few uh, games today. Getting to play quite a few of you today. Uh, <clears throat> Demand Red 1983. What is it with you guys and years in the nickname? That's funny. Sort of. Um... So, uh, d6 and h6, yeah, okay. a6 and h6. 
it's giving the bishop a reverse gear here. And knight e4 is not possible, is it? Because on bishop d8, there's bishop f2, but there's knight e4, it's the snag. So. <clears throat> Get ready for this F pawn. Is F pawn way to play? He can, he can stop that. Okay, knight F four then. Queen H four looks dangerous. Then F five. So I'm tying the knight down to F two. But let's imagine F E knight E four. Does it matter? Oh, well, there's knight g5 here anyway. So imagine queen h5. Oh, there's no queen h5. There's a knight takes. Queen goes back. It looks as though f5 is brewing up for big trouble. Is that king still in the center? This looks extremely dangerous. It looks as though there should be a queen sack or something. Or knight knight d three checkmate here. Okay, thanks for the game, uh Demand Red. I think there's time for one more uh, to fit in. Okay, um Dog in pool. Play the Leela system, Bishop G five. I saw recently in the Leela game. Um, so basic hack attack. I don't know. Leela seems to have my stylistic aspirations, uh, and does it against A B engines. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so, uh, but can I? Uh, the thing is, the details here I don't like. Like Knight G four. All right. I have to play h3. I wanted to play the h pawn attack, but it's not happening, is it? Okay, that pawn's hanging on h6. I'll take it on this occasion, I think. So queen b6, bishop g7, queen b2, the rook b1. So imagine bishop h6, queen h6, queen b6, I can play cast thing, protecting d4 and b2. Another fault is bishop g7, king g7, knight f5, g takes, queen g5. I'm going to take this out first. Let's have a look at this, knight f5, queen g5, king moves. I would need to swing a rook, h3 is used up, if I could swing a rook. soon <clears throat> rook d3 is that enough knight f5 queen g5 king moves queen check knight h7 maybe easier is just play h4 here rather than this knight f5 h4 h5 hg just activate the rook I think h4 might be more sensible. Okay, so okay, I have to hold e4. Five, 
past. A4, A3, B3, maybe A4, A3. Rook H8, maybe G4 for H5. G4 also supports Knight F5 for this G file to open up. Okay, H5 here. Rook H8, G4, G H, Knight F5, Bishop F5, G takes, opening up the G file. I'm not sure about the form pawn H6 here. Let me just take that. Unless there's anything magic uh it's threatening queen b2 anyway let's not get mated for a laugh um what about hg and bishop c4 after well that looks dangerous for queen h6 and bishop c4 all right there's knights f5 in this position that King G6 is Rook H6. Okay, so Rook H6 looks crushing here. All right, thanks for the game. Yeah. All right, yeah. Thanks. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today. Uh, yeah, one fun, ten boring. Uh, have a good rest of Sunday. Cold here in London, super cold. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Uh, see you next week. Have a nice week. Thanks very much. Okay.